Once upon a time, in a quaint village nestled between rolling hills and tranquil streams, lived a young girl named Elara. She was known far and wide for her inquisitive nature and insatiable curiosity. Elara had a deep fascination with puzzles of all kinds, spending hours each day piecing together intricate jigsaw puzzles, solving riddles, and deciphering enigmatic codes. One sunny morning, a mysterious visitor arrived in the village. He was an old man named Alistair, and he carried with him a peculiar puzzle unlike anything anyone had ever seen. The puzzle was not made of pieces, but rather of emotions and experiences. It was a challenge that tested one's capacity for acceptance, empathy, and understanding. Alistair announced that whoever could solve this extraordinary puzzle would gain wisdom beyond measure and find inner peace that would last a lifetime. The villagers were intrigued, and a buzz of excitement filled the air as they gathered to witness the challenge. Alara's eyes sparkled with curiosity. She approached the puzzle, which was represented as a door carved with intricate patterns of various emotions. Joy sorrow, anger, fear, and more. Alistair explained that each emotion represented a unique experience. And to unlock the door, one needed to embrace and accept the full spectrum of human emotions. Confident in her ability to solve any puzzle, Elara began her journey. She touched the door marked with joy, reliving memories of laughter and happiness. But as she moved to the door of sorrow, she hesitated. She recalled the pain of losing her beloved pet as a child and felt a pang of grief. She struggled to accept the sadness and moved on to the door of anger. Thinking of times she had felt wronged. Her fists clenched involuntarily. Elara realized that accepting emotions like joy and love was easier than facing those like sorrow. And anger. She wrestled with her own discomfort trying to understand why these emotions were a part of the human experience. Night after night, she sat in front of the puzzle, pondering the depths of her heart. As weeks turned into months, Alara's persistence began to transform her. She started talking to other villagers about their experiences, their joys, and their struggles. She listened to stories of triumph and heartache of moments of pure elation and times when life felt unbearably heavy. With each conversation, her heart expanded, and her capacity for empathy grew stronger. One day, after a particularly enlightening conversation with a grieving mother, Elara looked at the puzzle again. She felt a newfound sense of clarity. She realized that acceptance was not just about acknowledging emotions. It was about honoring the stories they told and the lessons they carried. Each emotion had a purpose in the grand tapestry of life. And by accepting them all, she could find her own inner peace. Elara touched the door marked with sorrow, remembering the pain of loss, and felt a deep sense of compassion for all those who had experienced the same. She moved to the door of anger understanding that it was often born out of unmet needs and unexpressed feelings. With each touch, she embraced the emotions, not just as isolated states, but as threads that wove together the fabric of the human experience. And then, as if by magic, the puzzle door swung open, revealing a brilliant light that enveloped Elara. She felt a profound sense of serenity wash over her like a gentle stream soothing her soul. Alistair smiled warmly, acknowledging her achievement. Elara had not just solved a puzzle. She had embraced acceptance as the key to inner peace. From that day forward, she became a beacon of understanding and empathy in the village. Her heart radiated compassion, and she helped others find their way to the path of acceptance. Reminding them that every emotion had its place, its purpose, and its own unique story to tell. And so, the village learned from Alara's journey that by accepting the kaleidoscope of emotions within, 
themselves and others. They could unlock the door to a deep and lasting inner peace. They understood that in the mosaic of humanity, each emotion contributed to the beauty of the whole.